Hey, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer and this is Mrs. Stony Ridge. Hi. We are headed out of the Stony Ridge Farm on a road trip to a wonderful place. We're going down to Denton, North Carolina where I've found a hay rake and hay baler and that this guy has and we're going to a chicken farm. So basically we're uh, going down to pick up a hay rake and a hay baler. I'll talk to you a little bit about uh, how I chose the rake and baler. This is a total first for me guys and you know if you're watching this vlog and you're thinking about getting into farming, I'm pushing the button to close my gate behind me if you can see it closing. Um, if you're watching this vlog and you're thinking about getting started farming, these are things that you got to think about. You know, I've never mowed hay before. I mean I've mowed, I've helped out with mowing, but I've never mowed and baled hay before. I, I don't know how to do this stuff. so. Uh, I've got a lot of learning to do and I'm going to take you guys on that journey of learning how to bale hay and, uh, and not wasting the grass that we've got in our fields and just mowing it down onto the ground. We don't have cows yet, we don't have fences yet, so the logical thing is to bale it for hay and sell it and use it for uh, uh, water runoff control and stuff like that. So come along with us, we're going down to Denton, North Carolina where we're going to pick up a hay baler and hay rake. It's about 76 miles away and we're going to be towing on the freeway, which is a little bit on the stressful side, probably maximum speed of about 40, 45 miles an hour. So let's get out of here, go have some fun. Woo! Stony Bridge. Some of the stressors that are here on the farm so anyway guys we'll uh see you on the live feed if you haven't seen it already and let's go down here and pick up this baler we're going to take you down in this video and we'll show you the baler show you what we're looking at and uh this guy's got a chicken farm so i don't think he's going to let us uh go in and see his chickens i think he's got three chicken houses and they're little bitty babies like this big so in the interest of biosecurity uh, we won't be allowed into the chicken houses but uh, we may get some aerial footage of the farm if we can and uh, we'll talk to this guy a little bit still driving guys we're an hour and 10 minutes into this drive and we're getting close we're getting ready to pull into this guy's place probably in the next 10 minutes but we're both hungry you hungry a little bit so we're gonna stop and get us a pancake breakfast Woo! pancake breakfast on the way look at this country glass of orange juice you just don't get glasses of orange juice this big in the city. This thing's huge. It's as big as a water glass. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Stony Ridge. I'm ready. I'm hungry. Empty. Empty. So guys, in the country when you order food, it's okay for someone else to get their food before you get yours. It seems to be a country restaurant trend. It's okay for you guys to eat breakfast together and she get her pancakes before me. This is not fair. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, thank you. You're very welcome. Y'all need anything else right now? Should be good. Good. All right. Thanks. Pecan waffles. Oh, am I cross-eyed? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think I need some more syrup. <laughs> I'm gonna be like a hummingbird today. This is what they refer to as stress eating. Pecan, awesome. We're in pecan country, North Carolina here, guys. Mm. All right, now I understand why she got her breakfast first, because there's her bill, and there's my bill. We're obviously not together. This deal is not like this, okay? It's like this. Corn, corn, everywhere corn. When's the last time you saw a yield sign for a railroad track? I sure hope nothing's coming. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so we're here guys. Let's take you around and we'll show you what we're buying. This is the John Deere Baler right here. Um, the Model 385 John Deere Baler. Pretty nice little unit. Uh, I'm going to say it's probably 15 years old, something like that. And what we're looking for here 
is we're looking at our belts. We're making sure our belts are nice, uh, where our belts connect together, that they're in good shape. We're looking for general leaks and, and just obvious stuff in disrepair. I'll walk you around here to the back. Basically the way this baler works is this part right here in the back opens up and it drops the bale out of the back right here, okay? So this thing has lights and he's been working on the lights. I've got to tow it, like I said, quite a few miles. So he's uh, putting new lights in right here. And these are our belts. Uh, this thing has some other cool features on it. Um, <clears throat> you have a uh, measurement right here that tells you whether your left or your right side of your bale is getting bigger as you pick up hay. And we'll talk more in detail about this as I learn more and as we start baling hay. I also have a little cutter right here that you wrap string around and you cut. And there's a moisture meter that sits in the cab of the tractor and that's in right here and it watches the moisture that you're picking up. So if you get a bale that's too wet, the danger is that it can catch on fire in the field or you can put it in your barn and lots of barns have gone up in flames from a hay baler baling too wet a hay and it builds up heat and it spontaneously combusts due to the uh, composting, I guess, basically the bacterial breakdown because of the moisture content being too high. So let's go over here to the other piece and this is a Cytrex hay rake, okay? This big old hay rake piece right here, this is designed to rake the hay after you've cut it so that you can run over it with the baler pick it up and roll it into rolls. So this thing, basically pretty simple piece of equipment. We've got to tow both of these back 76 miles to the Stony Ridge farm. It's going to be interesting. Way over here in the distance, let's see, let's walk over here a little bit. So you may be able to see way back in the distance back here uh, is uh, the chicken houses. That's where the chicken houses are. So we're going to go ahead and get things hooked up and get Mrs. Stony Ridge. She's over here looking. They've got a couple horses that are really pretty. So guys, from here, the next step is we take these machines home. We got to tow them 70 something miles, which is going to be quite a pain in the butt. The gentleman I'm buying them from has agreed to help me tow them home, which is super duper awesome. But you know, everything comes with a little bit of a price, guys. This is what we're using to buy this equipment. It's a tough pill to swallow. So we're fixing to hook all this stuff up and I don't have time to talk to you about every single thing, but we're gonna get them home, we're gonna pull them home, we're gonna, uh, you know, we're gonna be going like 40 miles an hour for 70 miles. It's not gonna be fun, but we're getting these things hooked up right here. So when you're hauling a baler or a piece of equipment down the highway, you really gotta be careful, you gotta drive slow. And these guys are tying up the hydraulic line so that they don't accidentally bounce out. It's a good idea to stop and check once in a while, make sure nothing's out of whack. And if you got two people going with you, one guy can pull up next to the next guy and check it all out. So uh, we're getting all the hydro lines all tied up right here, the hydraulic lines, and then we'll go on and hit the road. Maybe about a month and a half. So 
that's it. I want to show you uh, we're blowing some money today here on the farm. And it's not really blowing money. We'll make it right back with the uh, hay baler and, and all this equipment. It's pretty awesome. So thanks for coming along on the journey with us, guys. We'll see you later. Say bye, Mrs. Stony Ridge. Bye-bye. See you later. Woo! Click that like button if you can. Lean to your... that way. No, sexy. Not that. Come on. What is sexy? Austin Powers here. You're leaning over to John Deere. You got it. There you go. <laughs> go. Sexy. Kiss. Kiss the money. Uh, the gentleman I'm buying them for from. Excuse me.